Hello and welcome to the shipyard here in Governing. You can see behind me HMS Liverpool Type 42 that's just arrived here um, after having served in Operation Elemy in Libya. And it's fantastic to have spent the day with the, the officers and the crew on the ship because they've got a remarkable degree of pride in what they achieved in Libya. Um, I won't go into all the details, some of it um, I don't suspect is for broadcasting, but the the extent to which this Royal Navy ship was engaged in operations, the things that it had to do, the dangers that it found itself in, that the ship and its crew found itself in, a real eye-opener for a, a conflict that many of us just saw on our TV screens, to listen to the first-hand accounts of um, those sailors and um, those wrens. Um, it's remarkable insight into the kind of professionalism and the, listening to their tales of what went on those for those months what strikes me is the, kind of, the, the way in which they understate just everything that they achieved during that period um, in terms of their own contribution in making that country stable and safer um, so that democracy can have a chance. Uh, I met people from all over the United Kingdom on that ship, including about half a dozen from here in Glasgow and they're looking forward to getting home to see their family. So while the Royal Navy of course continues to get smaller and that's a debate for another day, we should never be in doubt in the ability of our young men and women and some of these older ships because the reason why HMS Liverpool is in Glasgow today is it's on its farewell tour it's the last time we'll see it in Glasgow it's got another month it's been in service for over three decades and this is last month it's now going to be decommissioned to be replaced by some of the bigger destroyers so this ship has seen action in both of the Gulf Wars and then off of Libya so I'm sure the city of Liverpool was proud of a ship that took its name, but we should all be proud of the crew that served in our name to help protect and support the people of Libya, free themselves from the tyrant that was Gaddafi. That's all for just now. All the best. Cheerio. Bye-bye.